Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video, I will show you to use the, how to use the HLOOKUP function in Excel. This is a formula you can use to uh, search for data in a large data set, much, much like the VLOOKUP, but where the VLOOKUP function searches vertically, that's what the V stands for, the HLOOKUP uh, uh, searches horizontally. That's why, they, why it's called the HLOOKUP. All right, we have our population data for the European Union countries in between 2001 and 2012. And we're going to say, okay, this is the lookup result, and this is the lookup value. Now, in the last example, we were going to look in a column, and that's what you use the VLOOKUP for, and you use the HLOOKUP for looking in rows. So we'll search for 2005 this time. That's going to be our lookup value, 2005. All right, and we're going to create the value formula, sorry, V lookup, go. And H lookup, and there we have it. The lookup value, again, is this cell, the table array, and that's just all our data. And the row index number in the, in the, for the VLOOKUP, it asks for um, a column index number, and now it asks for a row index number. And we'll just say, let's if I want to have the result from the second row, and we click OK. Now let's see if it did good. This is the 2005 column. We'll just make it yellow to make it easier to see what's happening. And we gave it the order to search for in to uh, search for 2005 in this row, and then to find the second value to look in the second row. Yeah, so that's this one. Make it red, which is almost 500 million. And as you can see, it did good. Now let's say I want the value from the year, uh, sorry, from the country below the third row. And I changed the formula as you saw, and now it's quite a lot less. Uh, that's because this is the euro area, which is a little over 300 million. And there you have the same value. Now I can also say, now I want the same data, but I want it 2006 we'll just type in 2006 here and as you can see what happens now is we search for 2006 we find it and then we go to the third row which is 324 million and something and there you have it all right i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments you can subscri subscribe to my youtube channel using the subscribe button above this video and if you want to get updates um, by email if I post new videos or if I release some other tips and tricks about using Excel on my website you can uh, click on the button below it will take you to my website worksmarter.tv and you can uh, leave your email address there all right thank you for watching see you next time bye